So, I came across some uh, very fascinating information. Uh, first of all, this is Le'ilui Nishmat Avraham ben Mazaltov. Uh, okay, Avraham ben Mazaltov and Yemin ben Avraham. So, I came to some interesting uh, information that sometimes, for example, let's say uh, police forces, you know, special ed forces, when they need to do uh, different types of driving, they drive differently. They have to have, you know, aggressive, defensive driving. You know, we take defensive, you know. So they teach them in a totally different way how to drive. You think that you know how to drive. The point of the matter is you don't know how to drive for those situations. So what they do, they take those cops or they take those, uh, you know, bodyguards or, you know, what they call it, secret service into different uh, cases and they put them in the simulator. And what they do in the simulator, you sit in the simulator and you don't just drive. They start right away with a near accident, near collision situation. And they find out, you know what I'm saying, you, you sit down, you turn it on, you almost, ah, right away. They find out two different things that are completely fascinating. Uh, there are two main groups of people. There are those who are fixated on the accident coming to happen, and there are those who look to the sides and ways to escape. Those who were not fixated on the danger that is coming were able to break away and to actually save themselves more often than those who were into that. Those people, most of the time, they saw it like, ah, oh, they call it deer in the headlights. They came on straightforward like that. And it's, and it's fascinating. Now, what's fascinating about it is uh, that it's all about where you look. And where you look will determine if are you going to be able to save yourself from a crash or danger zone or not. And you have to understand that the sense of sight occupies big parts of your brain. And the whole body is responding based on where you where you where you're going to where you look and where you you know, so you can be aware of danger or 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 obstacles on your way and, and so on and so forth. And that would the sight would really, you know, operate through the brain of course, will operate exactly where all your muscles and all your nerves are going and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And in other words, our body knows many, many times how to take us from a state of danger or looming danger to a point of success and how you know and and basically uh, what our job is, is to learn those processes and to really make them in those instincts and to really make them patterns of behavior. So, Chazal told us something very, very important. Chazal told us in Masechet Avot, Da mi'ayin bata, u'le'ayin ata olech. And where are you going to? You have to know where you're going. You have to know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, if you don't know where you are directing with your life, you're going to have a problem. You're not going to succeed. You're going to have a problem. You're not going to succeed. So, in order to succeed in, in life, for example, you have to take your, your wills or your desires or your ambition and whatever is close to you in terms of your you know, awareness of physical awareness and so on and so forth. And you have to take it to a place that you really want to be. Otherwise, you might find yourself, you know, head straight into, into, a, into, a, into a collision. Most of the people, most of the people that are, uh, are successful, knew exactly where they wanted to uh, where they wanted to be and they know how to get there and to say for example I want to be happy I want to be healthy and so on and so forth would not lead you to your target to where you want to be in other words when you're going to tell me oh it's going to be okay I'm going to tell you this it is not going to be okay because it's not, okay, it's, it will be like this. If you, if, you, if you go to outer space, you know how many billions of 
particles, not stars, are flying there in space. The chances of you to get a, get banged into something are enormous. So life is like this. There's so many things that are coming your way. So many different forces that are, that are happening in the world. And to sit there and say, I'm just not going to do nothing. It's going to be okay. It is not going to be okay. Listen, we know we say, Rabot machashavot belev ish v'atzat Hashem itakum. But you have to at least have a plan. Sitting there having nothing, you're not even doing what's on Hashem. Because you're not basing your action on emunah. You're guiding yourself on whatever happens, happens. And that's not a Jewish way to say. Da, da, me'ayim bata, you should know me'ayim bata, where you came from. And u'le'an ata olech. In other words, you need to create a continuous path in your life. That you won't get lost. Damia and Bata is your reference point. So Laina is where you need to get to. That's the ABC of navigation. When you're navigating, you have to know where am I coming and where am I going. And then you don't get lost. So when you when you know that, when you when you know where you're going to, where you want to reach. Your brain, yourself, what will happen is, because of what we said with the cars and so on, your body, your brain yourself will guide you to where you want to be. But if you're just waiting there for something to happen, you're not going anywhere. Of course, there are certain things that, you know, you have to give up due to time and, and physical limitation. For example, let's say you're 35 years old and you want to become a UFC championship. That's not going to happen because you missed your chance. How, how, how would this would happen? Well, if you wanted to be 20 years old, you want to be a UFC champion, you should have gotten over your sofa and stopped watching YouTube and watching reruns of, of, of hockey games and actually go and work hard. And then you, maybe you would have made it. But when you are passive about it, nothing will happen in your life. So therefore, you need to be aware, create this reference point in your future to know where it is that you really want and guide yourself and your body and, and I don't want to use the word universe, but your body and your, your whole being will guide yourself towards that goal. Whether you reach it or not is not the point, but it's guiding yourself on something that you want to do. And that's a totally different way of living. Have a nice day.